University President Dr. Neely Bindapudi says these efforts didn't begin with her, but she is working hard to make sure the university continues to rank in the top tier for their efforts to be anti-racist. She explains what that means and how they plan to achieve it. The University of Louisville continues to get recognized by national publications for its efforts to be inclusive. That's something Dr. Neely Bindapudi is proud of. To me, becoming anti-racist is an aspiration. I don't think we say this day we are done. The university has recently created positions focused on diversity and equity. They go along with Dr. Bindapudi's so anti-racist agenda. Caring. What does it mean to be anti-racist as an institution? It goes a little bit further. It says, let us really examine what we are doing. Are we doing everything we can so that everyone has an equal shot? had being successful. That's really what it is. When Bindapudi came in as president in 2018, she committed to make UofL's leadership reflect the diversity of the student body and city. Three years later, 47% of her top team is female and 42% are people of color. A recent USA Today article named UofL as an example of how a proactive approach can result in more diverse leadership. I think you can be what you do not see. I'm not saying it's impossible. Otherwise, we would never have the first woman, first person of color in anything. But it is true that it's much harder to be what you cannot see. And so to me, having individuals in positions of power that young people can interact with is important, not just for our minority students, but candidly for our majority white students as well. She says the school works to combat the three ABCs, which act as barriers for minority students. They are academic preparedness, belonging, and cost. What we have done is we started a task force, student success task force, that's focused on underrepresented minorities to say, how do we tackle each of these issues? In a recent education trust report, the university was one of only three schools among top universities identified as providing equal access to both black and Latinx students. I have to be very cautious when I say this because it doesn't mean that I'm saying, look, we are anti-racist, not at all. But I'm saying if we, because there's still a lot more to go. Internally, I tell people it's wonderful that we are being recognized, but it just means that it, all of us have a lot more to do. Carrie Grace, WLKY News.